classification of fuels over here we are going to classify fuels into different categories based on different characteristics now let us see what are those categories and what are the characteristics which actually classify the fuels <music> fuels are classified into primary or natural fuel that means any kind of fuel which is directly found from nature and used is known as natural fuel for example let us take wood we do not make wood we get wood from trees and trees is nothing but nature that means the wood that we use from trees is a natural fuel secondary fuel or artificial fuels they are derived from primary fuels that means all the artificial fuels that we use now we use nowadays are man made fuels and these fuels are derived from or these fuels are made up from different fuels which are actually primary in nature that means taking primary fuels modifying them making them better and then selling them as a secondary fuel are known as secondary or artificial fuels primary and secondary fuels may also be divided into three classes namely solid liquid and gaseous fuels that means classifying fuels as primary or as secondary is one of the most generic way of classification that means either the fuel can be natural or the fuel can be man made that is a generic way of classification other than this there can also be a different way of classification and that different way of classification is with respect to their states of matter at room temperature fuels can be classified as solid fuels liquid fuels or gaseous fuels on the basis of the state of the matter in which they are at room temperature so at common 25 degree celsius if a particular fuel is solid in nature then we consider it to be a solid fuel if it is liquid in nature then we consider it to be a liquid fuel if it is gaseous in nature we consider it to be gaseous fuel over here there is a table it's a flow chart and this flow chart is actually explaining us the classification of fuels in a very picturesque manner if you see the fuels are classified into primary or natural fuels and secondary or artificial fuels that is one of the most basic way of classification of fuels now this primary or natural fuels are subdivided into solid liquid and gas so if you see for the solid fuel there is wood as i have already given you the example of wood solid fuel in the natural form the best example can always be wood you cut the wood directly from the trees you collect it together and then you ignite it once it is ignited it will give us two things heat as well as light thus it forms a very good fuel option after solid fuels we have liquid fuels and over here the example of liquid fuel is oil we get oil from nature there are mines which collect oil from nature so nature has its own way of processing oil all the it's a fossil fuel that means all the fossils of dinosaurs of different civilizations human beings animals which are buried under the ground under high pressure those fossil fuels are later converted into oil and that we get it by the mining process lastly we have gaseous fuel an example of gaseous fuel is natural gas natural gas is nothing but the gas which is found from nature it is one of the most economical as well as environmental friendly way of using fuels most of the vehicles have now turned from petrol or diesel to cng cng is nothing but compressed natural gas and compressed natural gas is taking the natural gas compressing it into a tank and then fitting it into a vehicle it is very environmental friendly it has very low emission of smoke plus it is extremely cheap 
then we have secondary fuels and secondary fuels we have solid fuel in solid fuel we have the example of charcoal charcoal it petroleum is something which cannot be just mined out or taken out very easily we first have to take out different components refine it and after that we get petrol and finally we have lpg liquefied petroleum gas it is the gas that we use in our stove to cook food on daily basis so this is the entire classification of fuels thank you